Winter is back. Well, almost. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plow Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. Hey Dean, guess what? Winter is just around the corner. What do you mean, just around the corner? We're in the middle of August. It's not even autumn yet. Exactly. Because even in the sultry skies of August, if you wake up early enough this week, you can get a preview of the brightest stars of winter and you can see the reappearance of the planets Mars and Venus. Get up early, hmm. Under normal circumstances, I'd just as well wait until December to see the stars of winter. But I always like a good preview, so let's do it. Okay, we've got our skies set up for Monday, August 24th, about 45 minutes before sunrise facing east where you'll see several bright stars covering a huge area from east to southeast. Looking south of east, just above the southeast horizon, you'll see winter's super bright star, Sirius. Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky, and it's also the brightest star of Canis Major, Orion's big hunting dog. Up and to the left of Sirius is Procyon, which marks the eye of Orion's little dog. And above and to Procyon's right, completing a triangle of bright stars is Betelgeuse, the bright red shoulder of Orion. Down and to the right of Betelgeuse are three unmistakable stars, evenly spaced in a row, which mark Orion's belt. His ankle star, Rigel, and his knee star, Safe, are to the right, and his two shoulder stars, Betelgeuse and Bellatrix, are to the left. Directly above Orion's shoulder stars lies Aldebaran, the reddish star which marks the eye of Taurus the Bull. And to Taurus's left is Capella, the brightest star of winter's Auriga the Charioteer. Directly below Auriga are Castor and Pollux, the two brightest stars of the Gemini twins. So even though the nights at the end of August may still be hot and sultry where you live, if you get out just before sunrise every August, you can see many of the brightest stars of winter climbing above the eastern horizon. But this year something has been added, because directly below Castor, Pollux, and Procyon, you'll see an additional pair of bright lights, two wandering stars which weren't there this time last year. You'll be looking over 230 million miles across the solar system at the red planet Mars. And if you have a really clear view of the horizon, you may catch our sister planet Venus emerging from the glare of the sun. It may be tough to spot Venus in the early part of next week, but by Labor Day, Venus will scoot past Mars on its way toward the Gemini twins. And as always, may we remind you that whenever we look for Mars, we need to remember that Mars is only half the size of our Earth. So you'll be looking at a very small planet that's very far away. Now if you watch both these planets through the end of August and into September, you'll notice that Venus gets a little bit higher above the horizon each day, while Mars will get farther below Venus each day. And if you have a really flat, cloudless horizon on the morning of Friday, September 11th, you may see one of the skinniest moons you'll ever see, below and to the right of Mars. It'll be right next to the bright star Regulus of Leo the Lion, and even the giant planet Jupiter will join the fun emerging from the solar glare very close to the horizon. So there you have it, all of winter's bright stars visible in the east at the end of August just before sunrise. Procyon, Sirius, and Betelgeuse mark the winter triangle. Betelgeuse, Rigel, Safe, and Bellatrix mark the giant hunter Orion. And above them lie Aldebaran in the V-shape of Taurus, plus Castor, Pollux, Venus, Mars, and eventually Jupiter and the moon. And if you can't get up before dawn to see this preview of winter, never fear, because we have saved a planet moon scoochie for you. That's right, Dean. Near the end of this week, on Saturday, August 22nd, look southwest after sunset. Among the claws of Scorpius the Scorpion, the moon will pay a close visit to the ring planet Saturn. It's all there for you to see. If you remember to keep looking up.